Pastor Jay here. Just want to let y'all know um, we're going to be starting, praise the Lord, we're going to be starting uh, Jomo and Charmaine in about two minutes. If you are uh, a usual Pastor Jomo uh, Facebook person, make sure uh, if you want to watch it tonight, we're going to be on our Jomo and Charmaine YouTube page. I'm telling you now, because we're going to start soon, and I'm about to get off of this cell phone and uh, be streaming strictly from the YouTube page. So if you are watching for tonight, uh, make sure you go to the Jomo and Charmaine YouTube page. Hey. And I'm about to get off of this right now. All right. So I love you. Make sure you guys go to Jomo and Charmaine YouTube page, and I'm going to get off the cell phone. Love you. God bless you. Bye-bye. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, believers, family. Hey, family, Pastor Jay here. Bop, bop, Just bop. Let... <laughs> Crazy. All right. Um, tonight, uh, we're going to be strictly on the YouTube page for uh, the Joma and Charmaine page. You can just move it. We're doing too many things at one time, praise the Lord. Uh, but we'll be on the Joma and Charmaine page uh, only tonight. So, if you want to let your friends know, family members know that that's where we're going to be uh, doing all of our broadcasting from tonight. God willing, this simplifies our life and we can do things in a more uh, streamlined way. Praise the Lord. Hey, I didn't. Yes, or no? No, I'm going to leave this up. Yo! Ja family, God bless you. Hello, welcome, welcome. All right, so... Let us know where you are streaming from. Some of you, you might want to do something bold. Start a watch party. Right where you are, start a watch party. Share with all your friends as we jump in. Uh, praise the Lord this evening uh, from our YouTube page. All right, keep your door, sweet. Ba, 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 ba. Praise the Lord. You love the hat? Yeah, it's, it's really, you know. <laughs> He's trying to look young. I am young, baby. Yeah. I am. I am. Don't hate on me. Hallelujah. I'm a spring chicken. Praise God. All right. I see Gibson said. I see Colorado Springs. Praise the Lord. Review. The good family. What's up? The Colton Adrian. Love y'all. Love you to life. Michael uh, Byrne. All right. Colorado Springs. Praise God. Mavis. Jackie, I love them. God bless you. Pam. Gamble, God bless you, Pamela. All right, all right. So, let all your friends know, Jomo and Charmaine about to come on live. Praise God. Lauderdale Lakes, Riverview. I see you, I see you. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and praise the Lord. All right, so, um, you ready to jump in, Charmaine? Yeah. Her hair on fleek, ain't it? You know we're gonna do a. We're actually gonna do a, well one day. She's gonna do a makeup. Uh, people will keep asking about her makeup. Do you know one of her jobs? One of her past jobs was a makeup artist. Yes, Pastor Charmaine had a job as a makeup artist. Hello, Xavier from Ohio. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So. Now that we have welcomed the people to God, be the glory. And now uh, we've, what up, Phaedra? God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right. So the topic for tonight, if you guys have not known, uh, what we're trying to do is streamline our, our processes and make it simpler and not as long so we can uh, just jump in and, and give life. Uh, if you don't know, we have been married uh, 22 years, have three kids. 20 year old, a 16 year old, and 11 year old. We're not licensed counselors. Uh, we uh, we have been in ministry now for going on 12 years. Yes. And um, we just have a lot of life experience. And our whole goal with this uh, plan series is to spread the word so that people can understand marriage can work if you're willing to put in the work. So Amen. that is what we're here for, to put in the work and to get and improve our marriages together. All right. So what's the topic for tonight? Do we want to pray? You want to jump on in? Yes. What you want to do, Mom? We can pray. Let's All pray. right. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for this 
opportunity, Father God, to be used by you as vessels, tools, as instruments. Lord, I pray right now for the hearers of the word, that they can receive your word, and Father God, apply it for their life. We thank you for it now, Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. 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 Well, the topic for tonight is the eight things men and women want but don't ask. Mm. Have you ever been in a situation where you felt like, you know, I wish I knew what he wanted. I wish I knew what she wanted so we can move forward in our relationship. Well, tonight we are going to talk about those things that we want, but we just don't seem to ask for in our relationships. Um, there was a good quote um, by San Sousa says, every battle is won before it's ever fought. Huh. That means if you, um, if you have the proper mindset and you do things intentional, mentally you've already won the fight you've already won the battle we have to be intentional with some of the actions that we do as it pertains to our relationships amen so we're gonna go right into it hit the like button if you're getting something out of this please like share follow we're gonna get right into it we're gonna start with the men what men want but just don't ask for what do you think Many women don't believe that a man really wants her to be satisfied. Number want, one. Want her to be happy, want her to be fulfilled. It's, it's amazing that uh, I think, you know, there's a, a mindset that, that a man's all about himself or selfish. But I know for me personally, uh, it's very important that my wife feels good about where we I want her to be happy. I've learned that if my wife is not good, I'm not good. Now, I don't know if I'm talking to anybody, but my God, when, when Charmaine is not happy, it somehow, some way trickles down in my life, praise the Lord. Because I know when she is not feeling me, it does not feel good. I want her to be satisfied. I want her to be happy because I've learned, even for me preaching as a uh, quasi-preacher slash pastor, uh, whatever you call me, I know that I want uh, her to feel a certain way. If, if she doesn't feel a certain way, I don't even preach good. I, I, it's like I can't function the way I want to function. Now, I may take this a little bit too far, but biblically speaking, the Bible says, if we have a disagreement or an alt, 1 Peter 3, 7, my prayers are hindered. Right. That's big. So I don't want any kind of thing that can separate us. Right. So I want to make sure that she's good because I want the best for her. Now, here's another way to look at it. Okay, she's my wife. Cool. But before she's my wife, she's God's daughter. Okay? Now, I want God to be pleased with me. Mm -hmm. For God to be pleased with me, I got to make sure to the best of my ability, I can please his daughter. Now, I'm not talking about sexually, but you could check that off the list too. But I want to make sure that I can do the best for her. I can provide for the best for her. I can fulfill her. I, I, I want to, uh, to make sure she's content with what we have. Amen. Number two, number two. Your man wants to be encouraged and appreciated. O-M-G. Please, please, please. Please, please. A man loves to hear how appreciated he is. Right. A man loves to be encouraged. Right. You can't give enough. Now, let me give you a perfect example. Uh, right now, the NBA is out, okay? I uh, just realized I'm about to open it back up in Orlando. Praise the Lord. Do you know what happens when a player makes a good play? Guess what? They praise him. They pat him on the back. Right. Good job. Great job. Do you know what really motivates children? Good job, great job. And what happens over time, we assume that since we know better, right. we don't have to say thank you or appreciate things because you're supposed to do it. But let me tell you, when someone says, I really appreciate you, I really thank you, thank you for what you did for me, man, it means so much. Right, and it could be the simplest task. Like him going to the grocery store and picking something up that he knew the house needed. And you may think in your mind, he should do that because 
he knew just like I knew that we were out. I don't get accoladed or I don't get rewarded or appreciated like that on a regular basis. But it's not about you. It's about your relationship. So it's not just ever about you. It's about us. So for us to be okay, if it means that much to your husband to say, I really appreciate you going to get the bread that we needed at the store or, you know, him giving you a hug and say, babe, you get the best hugs. You know, those little things mean so much because it's letting him know this is what you like. Yeah. If you never acknowledge anything that he does, he may stop doing it because he's thinking you don't really appreciate it. That's not something you value in what um, he's doing in the relationship. And then you complain that he's not doing it, but you never said that you liked it from the beginning. Preach. Another way to say it is, what gets rewarded gets repeated. Come on. Mm, that's that's good. really good. What gets rewarded gets repeated. Right. If I don't get rewarded for what I am doing, I will not repeat it. So if you like what's happening, at least acknowledge and appreciate it because that's what you're going to, if you can, if you want to have good behavior, reward good behavior. Right, right. Praise the Lord. So if I like something, I have to acknowledge and give accolades towards what is going on. Right. Just because a person's a grown man does not mean he don't want to thank you. Don't want to mean I appreciate you. Don't want to hear I love you. It is vital. Right. Praise God. Sometimes I used to do some extra cleaning just to hear some praise. Praise right. the Lord. It is what it is. Right. We love to be encouraged. You know, it, and it could be something like him taking you out to dinner. Now, it could be your money together. But you just saying, thank you so much, babe, for taking me out to dinner. Hmm. That's showing respect. That's showing appreciation. That's engaging. Absolutely. It's, it's funny. Uh, right now, it's the rainy season. And you know right now, the grass is saying, why? Because it's getting watered. Yes. And what gets water grows. That's so good. I know that's good. That's Praise so the Lord. Good. Praise the Lord. In the comment section, put grow. Put grow. Put feeling us right now. Put grow. grow. Number three. <laughs> he wants you to initiate sex. My God. You knew God. it was coming. You My knew it was coming. My God. Listen. 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 I'm not trying to chase you I'm all my life. You chase me all the time. No, 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 no. I got no problem chasing If you want this, say you want it. No, 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 no. I appreciate that. But please, <laughs> at least every now and then. Surprise a brother. Surprise a brother. You know what? It's funny. I would think, now listen. This, Don't share too much. I'm not going to share too much. Y'all going to like this. I would, I would lay in bed and watch what she wore to bed. And I would try to read whether I was going to get some or not. I'm like... Why you? Why you? Why? Why you got all them clothes on? Why? Why? And and then to for me <laughs> to give him like a clue as to oh maybe Tell, I'm cold yeah yeah maybe just, I want just, to go check on the kids just first lost just lost I don't know and do do I have any brothers out there who sometimes try to try to figure out the signal and you're not getting it you know I, I said it one time I said why didn't you lock the door and she said lock the door for what you ain't getting none <laughs> what and did I say Yes, that was you, a long time ago. No. It wasn't? <laughs> That's funny. That is so funny. That's not funny. Oh, it's funny to me. <laughs> it's not funny. But my premise to you is uh, you open the door for the enemy in your relationship when you don't engage sometimes. You want him to know that you're still physically, emotionally, and intimately attracted to him. Yeah, because guess what? Sometimes um, we get more attention outside the house right. than inside the house. And when a person receives more attention outside the house than inside the house, there will be a proclivity a it, whoever is giving you the most attention that you desire you are more engaging and 
more um, welcoming to them for conversation, to be around them, to spend more time with them because you're getting praised. Now, I want y'all to make a comment in the comment section say, yes, I like it. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, brother, say yes, I like it. Say, I, I like being chased. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. No, no, real There's talk. Nothing wrong with it. Being we want to feel wanted. Right. I know, and I, I, you know, for me personally, I love the process, but it is so refreshing to feel wanted. Yes. Needed. Right. Desired. It's all a part of the animal attraction. I don't, I'm not saying I'm an animal, but something like it. <laughs> Number four, he wants you to trust him. Oh my gosh. Now, I want to ask you a real question. Have you ever tried to do something and your wife or spouse try to take it out of your hand while you're doing it? Have you ever... Because you're not doing it right. Have you ever felt like sometimes they think that you just didn't know how to do anything in life? Ever like if they weren't there, you would not make it. And ask you to do something, and as they're asking you to do it, they taking it from you to do it because you're not doing it the way they like it be done. There's nothing yeah, more. There's nothing more frustrating when if I feel like you think I'm stupid, you feel like I can't do it. Listen. I've been in this world figuring out life a long time. Praise the Lord. You know, I've seen this before with um, newborn babies. And the mother of a newborn baby has her mother watch the baby. And the newborn mother tries to explain to the mother about a baby. Not realizing the mother raised you and you trying to help her. And she's like, I appreciate the information, but I've done this before, baby. You, you turned out all right, didn't you? I, I took care of you, right? And I think sometimes uh, we don't trust. And it, it, it's frustrating because I, I felt the same way. I was like, man, I can't even do that. I mean, what am I going to do? I'm, I'm not going to hurt something. You know, so it, 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 again, it opens the door for the enemy to make you question how they feel about you. Because if you don't trust me to do something small, right. where is our relationship? If, right. if you don't think I can just take the trash out the right way. If you don't think I can drive. Oh, oh my If gosh. you don't think I can load the dishwasher properly. I mean, I'm talking to myself as I'm saying these things. So don't think I'm judging any ladies out there because I do think we do things the best. But if they can do what you're doing 70% of how you can do it, then let him do it and be okay with it not being just the way you do it or just the way you want it to turn out. Because you're a team. By the way, loading a dishwasher, I wash my dishes. I hand wash my dishes, mm -hmm. which is just how I like to do it. Right. Praise the Lord. And we had some confusion early in our marriage because she has a specific way which she believes is right. But see, I don't believe <laughs> that there's just only one way to do certain things. Right. And mm -hmm. that's true. And I had to grow into that. I had to grow into that. So I have now released and let go of some things. Praise and the Lord. Allow the help in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We need to allow each other to be our authentic selves and trust that God gonna work it out. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so oh, now women, women, women. The four things that women want, but they don't say. Number one, she wants to be, she wants you to be affectionate. She wants non-sexual affection. You know, romance does not start at 9 p.m. Can I say that again? Romance does not start at 9 p.m., but it actually starts in the morning when you wake up for that morning kiss. Babe, I love you. Good morning. It starts out with you making that coffee in the morning before you go to work or breakfast in bed. That's when it starts. So she wants to feel like you love her no matter whether you feel like you're going to have sex or not. 
she wants to be, and it makes a woman feel secure in her relationship knowing that her husband wants to touch her and it not be for a reward. Question, ladies, is this true? Just comment yes. I'm going to look and see how many yeses I see, and then we're going to gauge if this is the truth or not. Because <laughs> I believe affection should lead somewhere. Well, it will eventually, but every time you do it, it shouldn't be to get some. Wow, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, you see that? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, number two, she wants you to be ambitious. I cannot say this enough. A woman cannot follow a parked car. Mm. So, if you don't have goals, ambition, if you're not driven, it's not attractive. And a woman really wouldn't want to be with someone that doesn't have any goals or dreams or aspirations. Everyone wants to know which direction they're going. Um, it makes them feel secure in their relationship. It makes them want to get up in the morning when you have goals written out. Jomo and I, we write our goals in November before the new year. And we sit down and we discuss them, usually over a date night. And we'll talk about the things that we want to achieve, the things that we want. So that way we can support each other in our personal goals. And we'll have family and, and relationship goals that we want to meet. So then we can kind of hold each other accountable to those things as well. So I think it's very important to make sure you're ambitious. We have to, brothers, make sure that we have a vision and a mission. It's very difficult for a woman to be in submission with a man with no mission. Yeah. Women want direction. They want to know where are we going? What's the plan? What's the strategy? How are we going to get there? That's why if you ever drive in a car with a woman, they don't stop talking about where we're going to question, blah, 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 blah. And I know, uh, I'm thankful that, because like we turn on this on, on Bond River View, and I think it's McMullen. And every time she said, you know, that's not a turn lane. I said, I know that turn lane and I'm turning in it to God be the glory. Because she's trying to drive the car in the passenger seat. Anybody have because one? Because he's trying to turn in the shoulder. So that means if somebody turns that is in the lane doing the right thing and hits us, guess who's at fault? Well, like I said, I heard you the first time. Okay. Well, every time you do it, I just want to remind you. Well, there you go. See, I'm talking about see, see, practice what you preach. Practice what you preach. You got to be in the I car. I just want us to be safe. We are not safe. Not concerned for your safety because that's on your side of the car. Uh, praise the Lord, yes. Hallelujah! Yes. Just praise trust the me. Lord. Just Hallelujah. trust me. Like I was saying, be a self-starter. Hmm. Lead from the front. A woman does not want to pull a man along in the name Ooh, of Jesus. That is number good. three. You know uh, that actually goes in line with don't be unevenly yoked. yoked. Uh, and, and what that really means is that a uh, cattle and a donkey had to share a yoke. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a, a, like a, a contraption sure. that we kind of like this. Okay. And with that, they would have to walk together. The challenge is that the cattle had a longer stride pattern than the donkey. And before long, uh, the cattle would drag the donkey along. So when it says don't be unevenly yoked biblically, what it's saying is you don't want to drag nobody. Uh, you want someone to walk in agreement with you. you so what it means is we have to be self-starters. You know what? Women like when a man smells good. Yes, Women like do. when a man takes care of himself. Yes, we do. Women like when a man at least feels good about himself. Preach it, brother. Women like men that have some confidence. Yes, Lord. Women like men that brush their teeth. Yes. Women like men that have the older and all. Yes. Women, no, and and I can't tell you. that they may not tell you all these things, <laughs> but just like when you guys dated and you took care of yourself, right, right. they want that too. Right. So the same initiative you had when you dated them is the same initiative you have to keep them. Praise no, God. I'm glad you said initiative because number three is she wants you to take initiative in your daily life. So if you see something wrong, brother, fix it. If you see something out of place, put it back in place. If you see something that's wrong in our relationship and you're feeling some kind of way, sit me down and let's have a conversation about it. Ooh. Don't walk around having a pity party all by yourself and having me figuring out what's wrong with you. 
Let's talk. Are you Take s- initiative. Are you saying that we should be mind readers? No. Take initiative. If you, anyone can see if there's something on the floor, you you have tripped on it. The mm. dog has tripped on the. Everybody Let's tripped on it. Dogs in it. You're dogs wait- just make a mess. You're waiting on somebody else to do something. Take initiative and do it. Exactly. Own every aspect. And here's what I, we, we've said before, and I think is key. Don't ask for credit for things you would do if you were single. That's so good. Sometimes we want credit for just being normal. Right. Now, it's not a bad thing to appreciate people, but take some initiative. Mm-hmm. Don't wait to be told to do everything. Right. Uh, I am really adamant about doing things today to the point to where sometimes my wife says Jomo that you are too team too much praise God anybody anybody the person who's team too much if I get a book order at 9 o'clock I'll package that thing and pop up it'll be at the post office it'll be, at, 9, it'll be at the post office I get yeah. whenever people order stuff I make sure shipments are out quickly for the best of my ability I said because I want to get everything done I need to get done for today initiative and when you mm-hmm. show initiative drive it's attractive. That's so sexy. Yeah, man. Get it done. Yes. Because that's the same thing I want to do with every aspect of life. I want to get it done. Right. Mm-hmm. Number four, she wants your undivided attention when she's talking to you. You know how Jomo comes up close to the camera? When he, when she's talking to you. Undivided attention. That means put down your cell phones, your iPads. Oh, my goodness. Do you have to cut the TV off? Yes, you do. Because what you want to show her is that she's more important than anything else. Now, I'm going to give you a caveat to this. Okay, I caveat. I think once you grow in your relationship, she's going to respect the times when she knows that you're doing something uber important or she's going to ask before she starts that conversation with you, is this a good time? Wow. That's putting some respect because on it. That's that's being respectful mm-hmm. and it's allowing you to acknowledge the fact that they were doing something else prior to. But once you engage, don't in the middle of a conversation do this. Because we had this problem once before in our once in our marriage. And it never what? happened again. Why, why 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 are we Because going this whole this because I'm, I'm trying to, sh- I'm not, I'm not getting at you, babe. Because you're, you're great, you're great. I'm talking to the brothers that's still doing this. Get to the point. Well, I got your point. Um, the point is, you're not communicating very well, and you're not allowing your spouse to communicate, and you're teaching them that what they're saying is not important as what you were doing before. And there should be nothing more important in your relationship than your significant other. Whether it be your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or your spouse. Because if you're dating, I'm assuming you're dating to be with the person. That was another thing. You know, if the person doesn't talk about their goals and dreams, maybe you're not a part of them. Dang. That was kind of rough. So, I wasn't ready for that one. Yeah, if you didn't get past that one, then maybe they're not the person for you. Maybe when they're doing other things while you're talking, they're showing you where they're at in the relationship if you're dating. Now, if you're already married, ha <laughs> boo, you got to work on it. And this is something that we have been able to do really well now. We didn't before, but now we pause things. We'll put things on record. We kind of stop. And we're like, babe, you know, or we'll, we'll ask, hey, is this a good time? And if it's not a good time, then we'll let the person know when it's a good time. We don't leave them hanging. So I think that's really good, too. You have to value and honor um, your spouse. Right. And I've learned that oftentimes we have the wisdom to choose them, but not the wisdom to listen to them. Oh, that's good. How You are so smart to choose good people, but you're so foolish not to listen to the person you chose. The Bible calls your wife your helpmate. Yes. Helpmate implies you need help. Why would God define a wife as a helpmate if you don't need help? Man down, man down. We need help. (laughs) Praise the Lord. So with that help, oftentimes we fight the help that we're trying to receive. So I have to be mindful to slow down Mm -hmm. and say, Lord, are you speaking to me through her? Right. Because I have missed some signals in life and marriage 
Whereas she tried to tell me something, but I was not ready to listen. Mm -hmm. James 1, 19 says, be a ready listener. Right. Slow, slow, be a quick listener. Slow, slow to speak, speak, slow to wrath. Mm -hmm. So I understand when I listen, I am showing her honor. When I listen, I'm showing her respect. When I listen, I'm saying that you are important and you are a priority. Mm -hmm. Now, that's why it's so critical that we consistently set aside time to just listen. And sometimes it's not even that they want a response. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they just want to share their heart. And we have to be a safe place where they can receive. Because if not, they'll find somebody else to talk to. Is a good person. Hmm. You know, all of these things, I've noticed eight things, um, they're selfless things. They're things that may not benefit you at all, but it's everything to the other person. I want you to put in the comment section tonight one selfless thing you do in your relationship and you know it means the world to whoever you're with, whether it be your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your spouse, if you're married. Um, we always like to hear from you all. And if there is a subject that you would like us to talk about, please leave it in the comment section as well. We would love to do topics that you all want to hear about. Praise the Lord. Well. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, we thank you for watching uh, our program tonight. Pray it, bless you, subscribe, let your friends know about it. Mm -hmm. And we will be back again with you. Uh, next Friday, 7 o'clock on our YouTube page, Jomo and Charmaine. We love you. God bless you. We're going to pray our way out. Father God, I thank you right now for the souls who watch. Lord, I pray that this message was edifying, helpful. And Father God, it can help them become what you want them to be, a model. So Lord, I thank you right now that we be the husbands, the fathers, the brothers, the uncles, the grandfathers you've called us to be. That the ladies be the wives the mothers, the aunts, the, nie the nieces, and all those that they are called to be. And Father God, we are a reflection of you in the earth. Amen. We thank you for it now, Father. Thank in you, Jesus' Lord. name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. We love you. God bless you. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.